Welcome to Trinity Learning Club, TLC. If you enjoy listening to our stories, don't forget to click subscribe and the like button for weekly story times. Today, we are reading a story called Little People, Big Dreams, Marie Curie, written by Isabel Sanchez Figuera. Marie Curie is famous for winning two Nobel Prizes, one for physics and one for chemistry. She was the first female scientist to win a Nobel Prize. Back in the old days, women had to work twice as hard as men in order to achieve academic success. And in some places, girls weren't even allowed to go to school. Only the boys were. But that didn't stop Marie. She worked extra hard and people began to recognize her achievements. Marie was truly a remarkable child with an incredible love of learning. Are you ready to find out more about her life? Let's sit back, relax and read on. When Marie was a little girl, she made a vow to herself. She was going to be a scientist, not a princess. Marie was from a poor family, but she was very smart. At school, she won a gold medal for her studies, which she kept in her drawer like a treasure. She must have been really proud of herself. Marie couldn't go to the same university as her brother. In her home country, only men were allowed to study. But she wouldn't take no for an answer. So she packed her bags and moved away to France. Even though studying in a new language was not easy, Marie soon became the best maths and science student in Paris. One day, Marie met Pierre and happily, he loved science just like her. Sounds like a good match. Soon, Pierre and Marie loved each other too. They married and became Madame and Monsieur Curie. Hidden away in their laboratory, Marie and Pierre discovered two incredible things, radium and polonium. It was such a thrilling moment for science. They won a Nobel Prize for their research. Marie became the first woman to receive this honor. What an achievement. One day, Pierre suffered a terrible accident and poor Marie was left alone. That's sad. Marie wiped her tears away and worked harder than ever. The audience applauded loudly the day she was awarded her second Nobel Prize. A terrible war broke out. Marie's discoveries were used by doctors to help injured soldiers. That's amazing. After the war was over, Many girls followed in Marie's footsteps, studying at her Parisian Institute. I think it's wonderful that Marie is giving all these girls the opportunities that she didn't have growing up. She had valuable advice for every new student. In life, there is nothing to be afraid of, only many things to learn and many ways to help those in need. What a great piece of advice.
The End This is truly a fascinating story of Marie Curie. Marie believed in the beauty of science and that people would use science for good, not evil. So she used all of her skills to search for knowledge and her discoveries continue to help people with illnesses today. What a wonderful way to help people by doing what you love and what you're good at. I hope that one day you and I will be just as brave as Marie Curie to follow our dreams. That's it for today, children. Thank you for listening to our story time. Goodbye now.